Imagine your job is to travel the world capturing gorgeous surfing scenes or climbing big walls like El Capitan in Yosemite. That's what Jeff Johnson does for Patagonia, and he has a catalog of work that would make anyone envious. Watch and listen as he tells us about his secret sauce as a photographer. How about composition? Have you developed any kind of sort of approach that you find works? Yeah, I think it's just uh, really basic, just um, simplicity. You know, you want your photographs, or at least I want mine. It doesn't always work this way, but to be really simple. I think the best photographs is where you don't, you, the last thought when you're looking at the photograph is the photographer. It's not something people are thinking of, like, how did you get that shot? Or it's like they're not even, they're looking at that photo and they're in it and they're not even, yeah. They're not even thinking about a photographer. So what about climbing and shooting at the same time? That's got to be really tricky. It is. You know, climbing, um, climbing and shooting, t it depends on where you're doing it. But um, like going up on a wall is equivalent to swimming out a pipe or something. You know, it's really involved. I think, you know, there's photographers that have, I think they even started to do it in some magazines, paying more money for water shots than they did for land shots. Because hmm. there's more that goes into it. You know, you're sitting on land with your 600 or you're, in the water with your fisheye. You know, yeah. They both have, they both look beautiful, but one's, you know, a little more involved. So going up on a wall is a little more involved. Plus you're, you're high up there and, you know, doing a wall like El Cap, you know, um, you're up there sometimes for five days or something, you know, it's not just a one day thing. So there's a lot of rigging involved and getting away from the party that's climbing, you know, that's the most important thing is getting away yeah. from them else. Cause you're like this on a ledge. It's physically demanding, like swimming out in the water with your housing. You know, it's like the same kind of thing, but the housing's a little simpler. You just have your housing and your swim fins. You know, it's not as gear intensive, but it is a physical thing and, and um, harder to, to really compose your shot, you know. But climbing, you have time. The wall's not going anywhere, whereas the wave only happens once. So they both ha have their challenges, you know. What I like best is people and getting some sort of emotion out of the people. Or It's hard to pinpoint that mm -hmm. thing that's happening, you know, but you know when you got it. You know, and, and it's, um, it's usually not when you're setting something up. You have this idea, you go and you set it up, and something else happens, and that's your shot. And that's the mojo. You know, that, that shot that you thought about, that you set up, is not the shot usually. From my experience, you know, it's, it's what you didn't plan on, and if, hopefully you capture that thing that you didn't plan on. If I'm shooting people and something on the street, it's just getting close, I think. Getting right up tight in there with the people mm -hmm. and getting you, them used to you being around and so they're not looking at the camera. And, and that you're going to get some sort of like real feeling in there because it's real. What have been some of your biggest challenges that you've had to overcome as a photographer? You know, I think it's uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, it's the elements that's challenging, um, especially if you're working with natural light, I don't work with any kind of uh, lights or flashes or anything, so I'm really dependent on um, the environment. So the biggest challenge for me, which we get, that can get tough on trips, is uh, the elements not working with you. Jeff, any final tips for photographers who just want to get better outdoor photographs? Shoot. Just shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah. That's the best thing you could do. And, find, and subjects. Finding subjects is a... Uh, Every outdoor photographer needs somebody to shoot. And that's the hardest thing is having somebody to shoot a lot of times. You can be a great photographer, but if you have nothing to shoot, then you don't have a photograph. Thanks for joining us again, and I hope you enjoyed hearing from Jeff and will go out and put his advice to use for yourself. Be sure to subscribe now. Hit that subscribe button. Please share, like, and leave your comments. I love hearing from you. And until we see you again on our next show, remember to get out and capture your own images of life.